Let's now demonstrate some common faults in knot tying. A satisfactory reef knot requires alternating throws of index finger and middle finger knots, crossing the hands with each throw. For example, if we do an index finger knot, but don't cross our hands, we will not have the correct throw for a reef knot. Alternatively, we could do the correct throw one time, but then tie the same type of knot, the index finger knot, and although we cross our hands, still not have a reef knot. Here, we see an index finger knot being correctly laid, and a middle finger knot being correctly made, but the hands not crossing. And again, we don't end up with a reef knot. Let's therefore remind ourselves of the correct way. Index finger knot. Crossing the hands. Middle finger knot. Crossing the hands again. And here we see the reef knot. One other common fault is for the surgeon to hold one end of the suture up and tie round it. And although they may appear to tie alternate knots and cross their hands, they are actually tying round the suture. And you can see the white thread runs straight through the knot, resulting in what is virtually a slip knot, and the white thread can be withdrawn. This is therefore not a secure knot. Always remember to cross your hands, as you see here. For added security, two reef knots may be tied on top of each other.